Hi folks, I'm Dr. Ed Beyer. Today we're going to start our um, series on autoimmunity and this is the first video that I'm going to make. We're going to talk about the big picture with autoimmunity. First of all, autoimmunity means that our immune system or our white blood cells are attacking our own tissue. Now depending on which tissue it attacks, it's given a certain name. For example, if it attacks our thyroid, that's Hashimoto's disease or, or Graves' disease. If it attacks uh, our brain, that could be multiple sclerosis or MS. If it attacks our joints, that could be rheumatoid arthritis. So many people suffer from an autoimmune disease. The process is all the same. It means that our immune system, our white blood cells, have lost tolerance to our own body, and they start to attack our own body. And we're going to be talking about in this series on why that happens. You need to understand, folks, that there are a big difference between traditional medicine and functional medicine. Functional medicine is what we practice in our clinic, and we look at autoimmunity, autoimmunity entirely different than traditional medicine. With functional medicine, we want to know why our immune system would do that. Why would our white blood cells start to attack our own tissue? And there's known reasons in the scientific literature that traditional uh, doctors don't look at. And so with traditional medicine, they're just pretty much interested in suppressing the whole immune system with different medications like uh, corticosteroids and immunosuppressants that I'm sure you're familiar with. So we're going to be going over the big picture of autoimmunity, but you need to understand that there are many, many reasons why someone would be suffering from an autoimmune disease. And there are certain reasons. Once we identify what those reasons are, which I'll be going over in this video series, and we remove them, this person gets their life back and they learn how to manage the, their own disease. Now, some of the things, number one, the, one of the things that will happen in all autoimmune diseases is that the barrier between the outside world and the inside of our body, which is our skin, the lining of our membranes, and a lining in our small intestine known as our gut barrier, that barrier becomes compromised. So it's like having holes in a screen door on a hot summer day. Things start making their way into the body through a compromised gut barrier that don't, normally don't belong in the body. Now, the, our immune systems don't just react to foreign material. They'll react to the weight of different things. So if the molecules, if the gut becomes too permeable, the molecules are too large, and this will cause our immune system to react to it. And that is one of the main triggers to autoimmunity. Leaky gut syndrome or a compromised gut barrier is the gateway to autoimmunity. And I'll be doing several videos on this. What also will happen in autoimmunity is that our immune system will start to lose tolerance to foods. Folks, the foods that we eat today are so different than the foods we ate 20, 30, 40 years ago. They've been genetically modified. And there's new things, chemicals and things introduced to our foods that never existed years before. And this is the reason why autoimmunity is skyrocketing, why one out of three females and one out of five males will develop an autoimmune disease. Loss of tolerance to chemicals in the environment. So there are so many more things in our environment today that didn't exist just a few years ago or a few decades ago. So our immune systems are working harder now than they have in the history of humankind. So that spells disaster or that leads to our immune system going haywire and it starts to form antibodies or immunoglobulins against different tissue sites and we slowly develop an autoimmune disease. Now there's also a genetic component to this too. If, you have, if someone has an autoimmune disease throughout their family, there's no doubt that certain people are born or develop certain genotypes that predispose them to becoming autoimmune. But that doesn't mean we still can't manage that person or that disease through identifying the underlying triggers to autoimmunity. Uh, an underlying faulty physiology create an immune dysfunction. Now, our immune systems require vitamin D, vitamin A, short-chain fatty acids that are made in our gut, essential fatty acids. They need lots of glutathione, which we talk about later in videos, and that can cause faulty physiology and cause our immune system to misbehave. Also, things like elevated blood sugar or, or, or low blood sugar, insulin swings, hormone imbalances, many, many different physiological things can also be triggers to autoimmunity, which we'll be covering. And then exposure to chronic hidden infections. Uh, most of my patients that have an autoimmune disease, we find hidden infections, whether they be viruses, Lyme disease, hidden gut infections, and things like that, or they may have hidden viruses that existed from years ago, Epstein-Barr virus, a cytomegalovirus, herpes simplex virus. So these are some of the things that we look at 
from a functional medicine perspective to really help the person with an autoimmune disease. So I, I admonish people, if, if someone's watching this, to continue watching my video series, we're gonna be going step by step through all the different causes of autoimmune disease. I hope that helps. I'm Dr. Ed Byer, have a great day.